Hey guys, today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. <laughs> it is my everyday makeup routine. This is what I do on a daily basis to get ready for work. All the products I use every single day, they're just like my go-to, my staples. So if you guys see my everyday makeup routine, then just please keep watching. So getting started, I did already wash and moisturize my face. I have a few little, you know, blemishes going on right now, but my everyday kind of favorite primer is the CoverFX Mattifying Anti-Acne Primer. This is the one I pretty much use on the daily. If I feel like I need a little bit more moisture, I'll mix in the Smashbox Go To Finish Primer Water. Of course, for foundation, I'm still mixing the Revlon Color Safer Combination Oily and the L'Oreal Pro Matte. It's just the best combination ever. I do have like combination skin, so I start off kind of like more normal to dry and then like my T-zone gets oily throughout the day. But this foundation combination just lasts so long on my skin and it just looks beautiful. The coverage is awesome and it just works really well. It's just so pretty. It's definitely my favorite. Now for concealer, I always, always use my Tarte Shape Tape for everything. A little bit of spot concealing and then my under eyes as well. I just have not found a concealer that can beat this one for me. It's just perfect. I really want to go pick up this set from Ulta. I think it has like 12 or something of the Real Technique sponges for like $50 as a holiday special. Really want to go pick that up because <laughs> I use these every single day. They're just my favorite. So I'm just not a brush girl. I never have been. I mean, I don't mind using a brush if I have to, but the sponge just makes it so easy and it just makes everything look just like flawless. You know what I mean? Then of course to set my T-zone, I go with the Maybelline Master Fix. I like to use this for my T-zone just because I feel like it helps me stay a little bit more matte and it is a translucent powder. So I don't like to apply it all over my face. I'll use a different one for that just to kind of set everything. But this just makes like my pores and everything look so good. And it does really good at setting your under eyes too. So the only thing with the translucent powder is it does end up taking away a tiny bit of coverage away. So for the rest of my face, I obviously don't want that. <laughs> so I go with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and this is in 05 Fair. I think I definitely could go up a shade, but, you know, I got to finish this one first, so. So now that the base is finished, this is when I would go into contour, and of course, I always use my Tarte Dazzle palette. I just stick to what I love, and especially for my everyday kind of makeup routine, because I do my makeup every single day for work. I'm just that person. I wake up about an hour before I need to go to work, and I get ready. I love waking up. I love getting ready. It's just my favorite thing. And then to kind of blend everything out, I'll go with the L'Oreal Face Powder. I need a new one. It's <laughs> so bad. And then, of course, for bronzer, I'm going to go with the Benefit Hula because I cannot stay away from it. It is just gorgeous. I love this bronzer. It doesn't break me out. It's a gorgeous color. It's just my favorite. And for blush, I always end up going back to my Milani Luminoso because it is just gorgeous. And for an everyday blush, especially if you're fair or close to my skin tone, oh my gosh, it is beautiful. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I scared myself. I'm ridiculous today. This is just a little BH Cosmetics. Um... What is this? A 109 stipple brush. It is my favorite stipple brush I've ever purchased. It's from their five piece, I think, face brush set. Then I'll go back into that Maybelline loose powder. 
and clean it up. And then for any blemishes, I'll also take, of course, the same powder, do my little Q-tip trick. <laughs> Make it look like we don't have any. And of course, my highlight is the Flower Beauty Highlight Palette. I've completely used my champagne shade. I mean, it shattered, it's lost a little bit. Lost that. <laughs> but I've used up the little shards that were left. Now I'm gonna go into the pink shade. It's a little, it's a little pink, but it is my favorite highlighting palette. I cannot talk to save my life today. <laughs> it is my favorite highlight palette. Are you serious? It is my favorite highlight palette I've ever used. It doesn't emphasize texture, and it is just, I mean, it is. Just gonna be quiet. Is it not just stunning though? Oh, I love this hiding palette. And of course, it's out of stock freaking everywhere. <sighs> Makes me so upset because I need it. I need my champagne shade. It's just, it's stunning. So now that the face is pretty much done, this is when I go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just to give it that life and help it set. Because this stuff just makes any powder just set and look gorgeous. So that's what I'm going to do. It's also when I put my earrings back in because I feel naked. <laughs> so for brows, I always, always, always use my Benefit Cabral in number three because this stuff is just amazing and it lasts so, so long and you can blend it out really easy. It's just, it's gorgeous. And I just use my little spoolie. I bought that um, Benefit Brow Nanza thing where it had five full-size products in it. I am so glad I did that because I found so many new products that I'm just obsessed with from them. And this is one of them. I just, I love it so much. And this little bitty brush that comes on top of it, this little guy, just like, you know, pops in there, is the tiniest perfect brush for brows. It is insane. It just makes it so easy, like, you know? <laughs> I will still go in and kind of like fade on the inner part of my brow. And when I get to the point of like my brows are like the shape, almost shaped the way I want them, that's when I'll go in with a brow pencil. I actually don't care for this one anymore. It's the NYX brow pencil. It's just a little too stiff for me. I used to love this thing. But after trying um, the LA Girl brow pencil, I was obsessed with it. But I need to go get a new one because I'm out. And then when I have them kind of carved out, I'll go in with just a tiny bit of my face powder and just go right underneath and just clean up any little piece. That may have gotten like too far. Before I set my brows, I always go in with just a little bit of a transition shade and I'll always take whatever bronzer or contour I'm using at the time. So of course right now it's my Benefit Already Hit Pan. Oh, the Hula Bronzer, my Morphe R40. And I just put this all in my crease to give myself a little bit of definition, but nothing like too crazy because I don't have time to stay here for an extra 30 minutes every morning, you know to blend my laugh away. So I just put a little bit of bronzer all through my crease. And it just makes, you know, a little bit of a difference. It gives you a little something. I feel like when brows and eyes are finished, that's when the face starts coming together. You know what I mean? That's my favorite. I'll also take just a little shader brush and I'll put just a little bit underneath my lower lash line, just so it's even. I also have no idea where my LA Girl black liner went because the gel liners from them are the best thing I've ever used, but I cannot for the life of me find it, so I'm stuck using the Maybelline one. 
Maybelline one <laughs> that doesn't last for a ship, just being honest. But I'll just tight line with this. Okay, I skipped a step. <laughs> Whatever highlight I used for that day too, I'll put that on my inner corner and in my brow bone. And I'll also go kind of like all over the lid from the inner corner to about the middle. And I'll go back in, nothing extra on the brush and blend that together. This is really messy, you guys. Like it's nothing crazy. I just kind of like plop it on there <laughs> and just blend it like the edges together. And then it's, that's it. You know what I mean? But it's just a little something, just a little bit. And this is when I will go in and I'll set my brows using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel because this stuff is like glue and it's amazing. And for lashes lately, I have been obsessed with the Ilore Opulent Lashes because they're just gorgeous and oh, I just, I can't stay away from them now. Because they're so long and so wispy. They're so much better than the Ardell ones too. Can't believe I'm saying that, but they are. And I've actually been using a new lash glue that I'm actually obsessed with and it's from the drugstore. It is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. So this is amazing. I have always used the House of Lashes Lash Glues. It is the baby one. But oh my god, that stuff is intense, okay? So this is just a little bit less intense than that, but it still keeps your lashes on for such a long time, and it's a lot cheaper, so, you know, win-win. I will say this lash glue does take a little bit longer to dry, though. That's the only thing. And then while the lashes are drying, I go in with my lip liner. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational 105 Nude Whisper. This is, like, my perfect color. This one's a little dry, though, because I lost the cap a while ago. Just found it, but... It is what it is. I need to get a new one. And then the NYX Lisa Gloss is gorgeous. My everyday favorite. And then before I go ahead and put on my lashes, I'm gonna set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter. All right, you guys, this is the completed look, face and all. This is what I do every single morning. Personally, I wake up an hour early because it's my favorite time of the day. I get to just sit here, put my makeup on, and, you know, just be happy. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know any other videos you have to see from me because I am filming a lot this week. And, yeah, make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification, too, just so you miss any other uploads from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.